Right, in this short video I'm going to run through how to use the, the wonderful Huddle Technique app uh, to make some measurements and uh, analyse video and come up with quite an accurate value for acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so it's a really good app this. So it's the orange logo there. Now what you should see is there's all my videos. So I'm going to choose the, the last one because that's the, uh, the one. I've got my able assistant up a ladder and he's going to drop a ball through a height of exactly two meters. So you should be able to see there uh, there's there's two meter sticks stuck to the uh, the the, uh, the, the doorpost, and so my son's going to drop the ball. Now the beauty of huddle technique, this is where it really really becomes useful. Uh, it, the, the time measurements, which we'll see in a minute, the time has a resolution of 0 0.01 seconds, which is really really useful to us for making accurate measurements. Right, so if I just go to landscape that will make it easier to see okay right now you can play it in slow motion you can play it at quarter speed now you can choose you can go down to eighth speed so that's really really slow okay as you can see there the time here is in hundredths of a second so the resolution is really 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 quite 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 good there right now the best thing, the thing I like most about Huddle Technique is you don't have to wait for it to scroll through the video in slow motion. With this bit here, you can actually manually move through the video backwards and forwards. Okay? Right now, in this practical we need the exact time it takes for the ball to drop through exactly two meters and then we can use some calculations to find acceleration due to gravity. So what's the exact time the ball has dropped? So let's have a look at that first. It really helps if we zoom right in. Yeah. So there we have it. So there's a ball just about to be dropped. Now as soon as as soon as the hand starts to open, okay, so about there, 4.76 seconds. As soon as the hand starts to open, that's when the ball drops. Okay, so that's our first measurement, that's T1, 4.76 seconds. Right, we want the exact time the ball first hits the floor. So let's, if we zoom out that's going to be useful so so there's the full drop so let's zoom in at the bottom right the exact moment the ball hits the floor there you go so you can just see the ball starts to deform There you have it. So 5.41 seconds. That is our T2. So the time between the, the time difference between final time and the initial time we wrote down, that's the exact time for the ball to fall through exactly two meters.